Hi, this is Ian M, and you're turning into another edition of Three Quick Questions with Ian M. And my uh, my guests tonight are a great band. They're out of a place called Bell Gardens, California, which uh, is now a hotbed for some great music that's coming out. And I'm going to let my uh, my guest introduce themselves. So can you guys introduce yourselves and what what you do in the band? Oh, sure. Sure. <laughs> um, I'm Michael Price, and I'm a singer. I'm Leo Martinez. I'm the drummer. Eric, a uh, bass player. I'm Dorian. I play guitar, and I'm a big papa. <laughs> big papa. <laughs> and together, and together, these four are Black Mambas. Mambas. Remember that name because you will be hearing it over and over and over again. But my first question to you guys is: You guys come out of Bell Gardens, which uh, isn't really known for your primitive rock and roll. Yeah. Yeah. How? did you guys get into primitive rock and roll being from Bell Gardens? That's a very good question, actually. Yeah. It all, well, I mean... Talk to the stories. Yeah, yeah, you know, we, we, were, we were fortunate enough that we had good friends that were a little bit older than us that actually introduced us to uh, really, some really good music. And, um, I mean, there isn't, I mean, we're not gonna lie, out of, out of, out of Bell Gardens, there's not a lot of people that listen to the, like, you know, a lot of the primitive rock and roll type of shit, yeah. so we were uh, fortunate enough to be, to actually, you know, um, to know a, a good hand of people that actually know some good music and they've actually introduced it to us out of that, it just kind of grew. Yeah, I um, mean, out of just, uh, you know, hanging out in Bell Gardens, there wasn't parties that we wanted to go party to. And so pretty much start playing our own music, throwing our own parties. <laughs> yeah, yeah. the internet has a lot to do with it. Definitely, yeah, definitely the internet has I a lot mean, to do with it, yeah. We were just bored of other parties. <laughs> we just wanted to do our rock and roll parties, yeah, you know? Yeah. Rock and roll, man, that's our, what it is. Want to do it yourself. Take it, back right? to the roots. Yeah. Take it back to the roots. The music that was going on at the time, I mean, even the music that's going on now, it's just, it just doesn't do it for some people, you know? Some people yeah. want something a little bit more, 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 uh, more straight, more fucking, more fast, more real. And, and, you know, I think, you know, I think we kind of have, we found it a little bit, you know? Yeah. So yeah. Oh that's for sure. You guys did find it. You guys. Yeah. And that kind of leads into my uh, next question, which is, I was talking to you when we first met, yeah. and you were saying about some of your influences that uh, were kind of unusual and all that. Yeah. But you guys said you guys had like a little competition or something. Co no, not competition. <laughs> we're just, uh, we're just uh, always trying to play faster, you know, good tempo, good speed. Yeah. You know, we, we like our 50s, we like our 60s. We all also like to do it in a nice 70s punk yeah. tempo, you know? Yeah. That tempo. <laughs> That's a great tempo, by the way. You guys got yeah. it nailed. It's, it's <laughs> awesome, try, if, I, if I could say so. <laughs> but let's let this... Uh... Anybody got warrants? <laughs> okay. Well, as you can tell, there is a uh, ambulance about to go by. <laughs> <laughs> This is how rowdy these guys get. It's, it's stopping right here, as you oh, can tell. We gave That's Grandma right. a <laughs> These guys rock so hard, they're dropping in there. <laughs> but my second question is, what are your influences? How? Uh, I think we're all a little bit different, yeah, as you can tell. I mean, we are not really the same people. Yeah, I mean, uh, mine ranges from 60s girl groups to Chuck Berry. That's pretty much where I stay at. Runaways? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. I like, I like the animals. I like the 60s a lot. Yeah, I'm a yeah, big we, fan. Yeah, we definitely listen to a lot of the 60s garage. Well, a lot of 60s garage bands, a lot of 70s. Like 70s. Rock and roll bands. Yeah. yeah, I have to play 70s. Like 70s. Boys, <laughs> Eddie, Eddie and Hot Rods, the kids, you know, really, really. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Though. You guys know your past and respect it. Yeah. And that's well, awesome. Yeah, that, that's that, key to everything. You said it right there. A lot of bands are just bands. They don't want to. What happened in the past isn't their problem or exactly. their thing. And you guys seem to have taken the past, made it your own, yeah. brought it to the future, and are going to continue that beyond definitely, definitely. today. Definitely, definitely. That's what yeah. it is. Yeah, that's yeah, that's like one of, one of the, one of the main goals that we strive on is to influence, or at least you know get get a lot of the younger crowd that hasn't been. I mean, because I mean we're 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 pretty young ourselves, and we think that there's not a lot of that younger crowd that even knows that this stuff is still out there, you know? So, you know, our goal is to, you know, try to influence them a little bit, you know, try to steer, steer them from, I guess, from what's popular now. Like, you know, Top 40s. Yeah, 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 you know. You know, you know get, like, get, get them into real music. Let them know yeah. that there's something completely Life different music. out there. Yeah, not what everyone's fucking yeah. been telling them to fucking listen to. You know? and, and you know what? Coming from an old man to some younger, uh, younger people, uh, 
don't want to show my age, but that is awesome because what you guys just said there is what makes music and makes musicians better than what they could be and makes a great band, which you guys are. In my opinion, you guys are one of the best fresh bands coming out and you guys are a reason why the LA music scene, the Orange County music scene, Southern California music scene is alive and well and kicking. Yeah. And, yeah, and coming from me, an old man, I appreciate you guys doing that and bringing it up. Well, I appreciate you recognizing us. Yeah. You know, <laughs> there's a lot of people who probably just go in and say, oh, they're good, they're good. But I mean, it did really take somebody with an experience here to say, I know what these guys are coming from. We appreciate if that. If anyone's ourselves. looking to find you, hear some great music, uh, find where Char uh, Charlie and Jumpin' Judy, you want to hear them? Where do they go? Uh, you go to <laughs> facebook.com slash BLCK Mambas. Uh, you can check us out on YouTube. You have YouTube Black Mambas Club Robert Stomper. Or There's a playlist Nation. there. Yeah. Uh, we still have a Reverb Nation account. Uh, our tracks are up. People can hear us up online. You know. And demos are usually hold out to people live that shows. actually like come out to live shows. Live shows. You want a uh, you want demo from us? You you come yeah. out. And you get come one. and earn that shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and speaking of their live shows. If there's one member to four members, you're going to get a show. <laughs> Believe me, they don't need all four members to kick ass, but it really helps. <laughs> These guys are just ass kickers one to four. That's yeah. all I could say. And uh, for a second time, three quick questions. Wants to thank Black Mambas. I want to thank them once again for being the LA music scene, bringing the LA music scene up and making it what it is and bringing Bell Gardens and I'm sure you're going to be putting them on the map soon and yeah, uh, yeah. you guys are going to be influencing uh, younger generations yeah. which is kind of strange to say now yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. once again I want to thank some of the best guys and one of the best bands if you haven't seen them like they said their live shows some bands their albums are great you go see them live they suck these guys are albums great lives great so you're not going to be disappointed if you're driving down listening to them you see them you drive home listening to them again you're not going to be disappointed so for three quick questions this is enm black mambas be sure to check in on facebook be sure to listen to them that's all i can say i can't stress it enough greatest guys great band and we are this is the last song Due to time